of it, filthy rich. Just rich, please. See you next time. Uh, Apple Bloom, did you pack up the cider? But the crates aren't marked. You kept track of what went into which crate, right? Oh! When he's supposed to get Zap Apple Jam. You know how Granny feels about selling cider anywhere but on the farm. Finish up here. If you gave Rich the Zap Apple Jam, then what's this here? Granny knows I, I wasn't trying to make off with the shipment of cider, right? Because I was... Now, why in tarnation would you lie to me, Apple Bloom? I was kind of hoping about it. You've never told a lie in your whole life. <laughs> 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 but when she was a filly, the whole family ended up in a hospital. What? <laughs> yep. A bit older than you are now. They both kept us squabbling over who would run the farm better. <laughs> Applejack, Applejack, Applejack. Ideas are all well and good, but you can't plow a field with them. Yeah, that's better. I need you to go to town. The apple blight's been awful. And if we don't get more spray... I can do a problem. <sighs> oh, hi there, filthy rich. Just rich, please. It's sweet apple acres. You work on a farm? How quaint. You mean one of your best sellers? My amazing husband-to-be is running the rich family business now. Did you know that? In charge of the store now, and I'm just bursting with ideas I want to try. Like what? Well... Well, maybe it's interesting and maybe it ain't. But it's definitely not a new idea. Granny Smith told us your grandpa signing up out at Sweet Apple Acres. So start a new tradition. Someday, one of y'all take over the farm just like that many a time before. Ideas are all well and good, but you can't plow a field. You know what? How about we give you three... I've got to get everything ready. Hoo-wee! I tell you, if the future means me running sweet apple... You'd make a deal with Filthy Rich without even talking to Granny. Ah, oh, Granny will love the idea. And then she'll decide that I... Ideas. And I think we all know my position on ideas. You can't... can't plow a field with them. Hey. We ran into Filthy Rich in town. Did you know he's running the family store now? And what is this here? Opportunity mean for Sweet Apple. Idea to give him a few barrels of cider to sell at the store before the season starts. Oh, is it? Uh... But Granny, why can't we sell a few barrels of cider early to Filthy Rich? And how is it any different than when you Stars preserve the flavor for moves? But cider starts to spoil the second it comes out the press. That is why every Granny. Couldn't you make an exception just this once? I sort of promised. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Applejack, but you's just gonna have to unpromise. Oh. I've always thought that the most important thing a pony can do is say exactly what's on his mind to any pony who listens. So every pony. Exactly. Well, if it ain't my new business partner. Woo! <laughs> Pretty great, huh? The thing is, I don't think I can get you any. What? It's been about quality and, well, your basic jam jar. Plus, keep... it's been a tough harvest this year, what with all the blight. If you can't do that, then maybe our families should stop doing business together. All together. And he's sick? I had no idea. Yeah, no pony did. A little short hooved at the moment. Oh my, of course, of course. I'm so sorry. Enduring this difficult time. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to tell Rich the simple truth. He was gonna stop doing business with us all together. 
Yeah, but that's only because I, I forgot to ask if we had any. It's only because you made promises you couldn't keep. But there's got to be a better way out of this mess than by making up some story about Granny being sick. Granny, a speedy recovery. Look, sis, our good friend Mr. Rich and his fiance are here. Wait. Uh, excuse me one second. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go up to the barn? I, uh, I think we might have left a blight sprayer in the orchard. You go start counting, and, and I'll tell Big Mac we'll be right back, uh, okay? So from that moment on, uh, he always wears his yoke. Even though we asked him how your grand bear is doing. Oh, we are... Oh, dear. Is she doing that bad? Well, one thing's for sure. What in the frilly fumadillas got into you? Sorry, Granny. Oh, good. Uh, say, Granny, when did you first fight the apple blight again? On the one knee. And others say that's how the trees got to growing so tall. But to me... Rude, but... You just can't see Granny right now because she's... got apple blight! I just think it's from working in the orchard for so many years. You see, we had to take Granny... It's not contagious, is it? Um, I'm sure you'll be fine, but you should leave. <coughs> That's right. Wait, get where? Why, the hospital, of course! I'm sure we'll see you there. It'll just make everything a hundred times worse. What are we supposed to do now? I got it. Love to hear more, Granny, but we gotta get to the hospital right away. The hospital? Why? Who's sick? It's the apple blight. It's starting to infect ponies now. The doctors need an expert opinion. <laughs> Oops, I almost forgot. Here, well, I uh, check on your presentation. What in the rotten rhubarb is going on here? You, because I can't seem to find Granny's room. Or any nurses who've even heard about a pony with apple blight. Left three more times, and then you're there. Easy as Granny's apple pie. <laughs> uh, Aren't you coming with? Can go. Where are you two going? Big Mac can't come. He uh <coughs> might be contagious. Hey! <laughs> You're not allowed to take the sheets off. You moan a few times, he leaves, and this whole thing is over. This is spinning way out of control, Applejack. Hospital. Or fibbing to Granny about them wanted her to come here to talk about the plight. Or Big Macintosh, please just listen. Now, do you want that to happen, or do you want to help? Why can't you be Granny? You're her size, and this is all your fault in the first place. Just lay down, keep still, and promise me you won't say anything for once in your life. E yep. It's about time. What is going on around here? Uh, Granny, they need you to wait here. I'll come get you. And look, cause it's it's right over here, and this time I'll make sure you don't get lost. She was right here! Oh no, we gotta go! Gurney! Granny, what are you doing? You're supposed to stay there! It was a supply closet! I'm sorry. Our best doctor. She'll have your brother back on his hooves in no time. Ugh. I think she said gasket mites. And once your trunk turns red like this... And the branches? Well, sure. What else you gonna do once the blight gets this bad? Everybody just stop! This is all a big misunderstanding. Actually, it 
a... What is going on here, Applejack? That is a darn good question. <sighs> but I promised something to Filthy Rich that I couldn't deliver. <sighs> and I was too embarrassed to admit it. All lies. And I thought if you found out, you'd stop doing business with the farm. So I just kept telling... It's my fault. That's not entirely true. Maybe if I paid more attention to what you had to say instead of actually to you. <sighs> Thanks, big brother. And whether it's me running Sweet Apple Acres or you, I know... <laughs> running the farm. Not after this display. Not likely. <laughs> um, yes, ma'am. Now, who here still wants to hear about the apple blight? I'm proud of, but it taught me a lifelong lesson about being honest. I hope you learned something. After we have a glass of cider. <laughs> <laughs>